NASA's Webb Space Telescope captured new images of a horse-shaped nebula. It's so powerful, it might have just shattered our understanding of the universe. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. In the Orion Nebula, astronomers might have discovered an entirely new class of objects. One well-known star nursery is Serpens. Imagine for a second if I told you that the James Webb Telescope has discovered an anomaly in space. There are a number of such structures, not just one or two. Using information gathered by the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA has just identified six enormous galaxies. Because it's possible they may only have to revise the textbooks, scientists are perplexed. We should examine their findings. Primacy. Large, old galaxies. The James Webb Telescope found six luminous red spots against a rather mundane backdrop. Among the oldest and biggest galaxies discovered to far, these spots date back up to 13.3 billion years, certainly not your average spots. The reddish hue of these six spots suggests they formed quite soon after the Big Bang, within the last few hundred million years. Until recently, Scientists thought these structures couldn't have developed during that time. Contrary to what scientists had previously believed, the formation of stars and galaxies did not take nearly as long after the Big Bang, since these old galaxies were already huge and teeming with star formation. One of these universe-breaker galaxies dwarfs the Milky Way by a factor of 10 and is one trillion times larger than our Sun. Because the cosmos didn't start the way we believed it did, and the gloomy ages might not have been so gloomy after all. This finding has troubled many. Second point, novel results from exoplanet molecule studies. Finding an exoplanet that might support life has become an obsession for astronomers. A candidate that exhibits signs of life is K218b, one of many. What gives? James Webb recently discovered carbon-bearing chemicals like methane and carbon dioxide and they also discovered water vapor in its atmosphere. So it's possible that K218b has an ocean of water and an atmosphere rich in hydrogen, ideal circumstances for life. Dimethyl sulfide was also detected. But you won't believe it until you hear this. And you know who makes that stuff on this planet? Only living things. I have faith in your intelligence to see the obvious. Thirdly, where did the cosmic web come from? A cluster of 10 galaxies was discovered 830 million years after the Big Bang by astronomers utilizing the James Webb Space Telescope of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It's the same as discovering a cosmic picture you had as a kid. To what extent does this matter? Simply put, our present knowledge does not support the idea that these galaxies existed during that time. Evidently, that comprehension was wrong. A gigantic black hole at the heart of a galaxy, known as a very bright quasar, anchors this structure, which is approximately 3 million light-years long. It is possible that this string of galaxies may expand into a massive cluster, similar to the coma cluster that is familiar to us from our cosmic neighborhood. In the fourth place, we have early supermassive black holes. Black holes expand by devouring gas clouds, dust, and stars in motion, as you may be aware. Supermassive black holes operating in the early cosmos, even before they've had a chance to gorge themselves on their environment, have been observed by astronomers thanks to James Webb. More than that, it caught the X-ray image of the galaxy UHZ-1, which has the most distant black hole ever seen. That just astounds me. At a distance of 13.2 billion light-years from Earth, UHZ-1 allows us to observe the black hole in its early stages, shortly after the Big Bang, some 470 million years ago. Astoundingly, this black hole is equivalent in mass to the sum of all the stars in its host galaxy, with an estimated mass ranging from 10 million to 100 million times that of the Sun. Equine Head Nebula Barnard 33 is another name for this nebula, which is located approximately 1-300 light-years away. 
The instruments on the Webb telescope have allowed scientists to observe the lighted edge of the Horsehead Nebula and its small-scale structures for the first time. Its light comes from a nearby blazing star, and it originated in a collapsing interstellar cloud. Even though the gas clouds surrounding the Horsehead Nebula have mostly diffused, the dense material that makes up the distinctive pillar shape is still hanging on but astronomers think the Horsehead Nebula will be around for another 5 million years or so before it begins to dim. Now astronomers can follow the intricate patterns created by the evaporation of dust particles from clouds using ultraviolet light. Sixth on the list, supernova dust. Then there's Cassiopeia A, which formed 3,140 years ago in the constellation Cassiopeia as a result of a stellar explosion that occurred 11,000 light-years distant. Its remnants are visible till now. The heated dust is of great interest to astronomers because of the significant role it plays in the formation of planets and life. The heavy elements ejected by supernovae are thought to be the primary source of this type of dust. The small pieces of this sulfur, oxygen, argon, and neon waste are now visible to the naked eye and their radiant orange and light pink glow is a testament to James Webb's work. As those microscopic pieces rip through the gas, they leave behind a cosmic trail of bullet holes, which are seen as black holes in the photograph. On top of that, we can observe light echoes, which occur when the material in space absorbs the initial light from the explosion and reprocesses it into infrared radiation. Section 7 the Serpent's Nebula star-forming subregion. At a distance of almost 1,300 light-years from Earth, the Serpent's Nebula is a birthplace for numerous nascent stars. Aligned protostellar outflows, gas jets released by nascent stars as they interact with their environment, were among the several anomalies discovered by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope within this nebula. Never before have all of these outflows been pointed in the same direction. It also advanced the planet-forming disk known as the Bat Shadow, which resembles a flapping bat. Pretty remarkable, huh? Issue number 8. Hidden Characteristics of the Central Milky Way Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we are learning a great deal more about the dense core of our galaxy. The most current high-resolution picture of the Sagittarius C area located around 300 light-years from the center supermassive black hole of the Milky Way, was taken by the telescope's near-infrared sensor. We can make out almost half a million stars in this picture. Particularly perplexing to astronomers are needle-like features in ionized hydrogen that appear to contradict established patterns. Additionally, the image shows a cluster of protostars, which are stars that are still undergoing their formation and mass growth. Finally, jumbos. Jumbos, not the sandwich, are binary objects with a mass comparable to Jupiter, which are likely familiar to space aficionados. Located approximately 1 to 350 light-years away in the Orion Nebula are these untamed floating binary systems with planetary masses. About 40 of these jumbos were discovered by James Webb. They are completely new to science. Like a pair of planets, each of these has two halves and a mass between 6 and 14 times that of Jupiter. They're free to roam the galaxy as they like, unattached to any star systems. The incredible Carl G. Jansky. Very large array was utilized by astronomers to detect radio signals emanating from one of these jumbo systems, namely, Jumbo 24. Consistent radio signals are emanating from both binary halves. The fact that these jumbos can construct and maintain binary structures is astonishing. Point 10. Thoroughly examining the process of star formation. The process of star formation has long piqued the interest of scientists, but direct observation has proven challenging due to the presence of gas and dust clouds that obstruct visible light. It is at this point that James Webb is useful. Its infrared light penetrates the air and reveals previously unseen details. Specifically, there is the Rho Ophiuchi complex, which is situated just 390 light years from Earth. About 50 newborn stars, some with masses comparable to our Sun, 
were caught in the telescope's frozen-in-time explosion. We would only see darkness if James Webb weren't here. Countless young, low-mass stars were also seen in the telescope's pictures, as were the jets of gas and particles they emitted, which illuminated the molecular hydrogen clouds in their vicinity. Chapter 11. The Ring Nebula's Circular Structure Among the most fascinating planetary nebulae is the Ring Nebula, or M57 in Lyra. Approximately 2,500 light-years away, it is quite close to Earth. Nevertheless, the revelation of astounding details about this nebula by the James Webb Telescope has genuinely astounded everyone. Superheated gas fills the interior part of the ring, which is composed of around 20,000 molecular hydrogen clumps. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, a thin ring of carbon-based molecules, make up the primary shell. In these pictures, M57 stands out because to the ten arcs that radiate out from the central ring. These arcs, according to astronomers, originated when a smaller companion star interacted with the dying star's gas, causing the nebulous structure to ripple as the companion star passed through the gas. Number 12. The most distant galaxy ever recorded. This telescope broke all prior records in 2023 by revealing the furthest distant galaxy ever seen, this finding is anything but ordinary. It went by the designation JD's GS Z14. To begin, it is unusual for a galaxy this distant to shine so brightly. The fact that JD's GS D130, its forerunner, was born 320 million years after the Big Bang adds an extra layer of intrigue. The light emanating from this older 1,600 light-years wide object originates mainly from young stars instead of a developing supermassive black hole. This means that the mass of the galaxy is many hundreds of millions of times that of the Sun. Oxygen is also included in the light emissions. If you're still confused, allow me to explain. By the time our galaxy came into view, many generations of huge stars had already lived and died. Numero 13 in the galaxy, a super-Earth. Additionally, 137 light-years away, scientists have discovered a new planet that might be ideal for life, Toai 715b. It follows the path of a red dwarf star, which is smaller and cooler than our Sun. We have the best chance of discovering potentially habitable planets around stars of this kind because of their reputation for supporting rocky planets. As a result of their reduced size and lower surface temperatures, red dwarfs allow planets to approach them in a more hospitable orbit, where the potential exists for the presence of liquid water. At a rate that dwarfs Earth's annual orbit, TOI 7115b completes one full revolution around its star every 19 days. Planets like TOI 7115b are considerably easier to see because of their fast orbits, which lead them to pass in front of their stars more frequently. The possibility exists that the same system contains another planet of Earth's size. Number 14. Ethereal Jellyfish My favorite one is coming up next. In a distant galaxy cluster known as Abel 2877, scientists have just found a massive jellyfish. Only a tiny band of radio radiation can reveal this cosmic jellyfish, which is wider than one million light years. An intriguing phenomenon has scientists wondering if this object could be a radio phoenix. Normally, its emission is strong at lower radio frequencies, but it suddenly disappears at 200 mHz. In terms of the frequency range in which it was seen, this structure is the largest of its kind to date. A cosmic event such as a galaxy collision, re-energized it after it had faded over millions of years after its birth from a massive explosion, such as a black hole outburst. Because of this, it becomes quite visible at some radio frequencies while becoming completely invisible at others. Opus 15, Nebula of Orion. Another first was the discovery of a novel carbon molecule, methylcadian, by scientists utilizing NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The ability to build more complex carbon-based molecules, essential for life, 
is why this molecule is so important. This chemical was discovered in the Orion Nebula, in a young stellar system known as D20356, which is located approximately 1,350 light-years distant. Nearby, hot, young, massive stars provide intense ultraviolet light that would typically disintegrate complex organic molecules in the star system where it was discovered. Contrary to expectations, though, the group thinks that this UV radiation could aid in the production of methyl cation. The formation of more complicated carbon molecules can be stimulated by its presence once it is formed. Volcanoes made of ice, Neon 16. Ceres is a dwarf planet with a volcano in the asteroid belt, which lies between Jupiter and Mars. It's true that this volcano doesn't typically release molten rock and fire. This one couldn't be more different. Scientists think it's a cryovolcano, and it goes by the name Ahuna Mons. It is believed that, rather than erupting hot molten rock, it releases ice, salts, and other frozen substances. Ceres, which was previously believed to be geologically dormant, is experiencing this. Enceladus, Europa, and Triton are just a few of the moons in our solar system that have experienced this kind of volcanic activity when frozen substances are ejected. Comet 17, a space-dwelling alcohol spray. Additionally, you should be aware of Comet Lovejoy. Lovejoy was a very active and brilliant comet, unlike any comet in recent memory. In January 2015, when it was closest to the sun, it released 20 tons of water each second. Recent research, however, has shown that this comet has been releasing a considerable amount of alcohol and even sugar into space. At its most powerful, it could detonate enough alcohol to fill 500 wine bottles each second. If only those who enjoy imbibing could get their hands on it. Comets may have brought the building blocks for life to develop on Earth, according to this finding. Point 18. The Galaxy's Secret Defense Mechanism Were you aware that the Milky Way, at its core, functions as a tremendous particle accelerator, ejecting charged matter beams into space at nearly the speed of light? Something intriguing about these cosmic rays close to the galactic center was just found out by scientists. There appears to be an enigmatic barrier that stops a large number of cosmic rays from entering the core, even though there are plenty of them leaving. Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, is thought by scientists to be responsible for the complicated combination of magnetic fields that could be causing this barrier. Water in a star system, number 19. Additionally, the James Webb Space Telescope detected the presence of water vapor surrounding PDS-70, a young star system that is now undergoing planet formation. This is significant since it lies inside the typical formation region for rocky planets such as Earth. Due to the intense stellar radiation, it was previously believed that PDS-70, which is around 5.4 million years old, did not contain much water. Nevertheless, close to the star, the telescope detected 330 degrees C water vapor. Researchers are currently attempting to determine the source of this water. Their best guess is that it either forms naturally inside the star system or originates from ice dust particles that migrate in from the system's colder outer regions and transform into gas close to the star. There may have been water on those planets from the start if we find them. Space Pac-Man Number 20. N63A resembles the video game figure Pac-Man to a large extent. It is situated in the Large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy, approximately 163,000 light-years away from Earth. It's a remnant from a distant galaxy, left over after a stellar explosion long ago. A cloud of blazing hot gas resembling Pac-Man was produced by this explosion. A swarm of newborn stars resembling the power pellets Pac-Man consumes in the game surround the Pac-Man figure. N63A is still in its early stages, and as it finds its footing, it will likely begin producing stars of its own. Point 21. The GW Ori Star System Additionally, a star system located approximately 2300 light-years away 
known as GW Ori, was found by the scientific community. A planet in this system orbits three stars at once, instead than just two. Three hazy circles around what appears to be a gigantic bullseye in outer space. The bullseye is centered on a trio of stars. Two stars in close proximity to one another form an orbit, and a third star orbits the trio more widely. New evidence suggests that one of the star system's three rings is slightly shaky, and scientists believe this is due to the presence of a massive planet, approximately Jupiter's size, within. The first planet ever found to orbit three stars would be this one if their calculations are correct. Ross 128b, quantity 22, Ross 128b is a relatively close planet, just 11 light years away and its composition is likely rock, according to scientists. Because of its slightly larger size compared to Earth, it is known as a super-Earth. This planet is unique because it is within Ross 128's habitable zone, which means it's not too far away from the star for liquid water to exist. Because life has the potential to flourish in wet environments, that is a major concern. Ross 128b's potential habitability is enhanced by the fact that its host star, Ross 128, is both smaller and cooler compared to our Sun. Scientists believe Ross 128b could still have a climate similar to ours, perhaps with the help of high-altitude clouds that reflect light, as it receives more light than Earth. Plus, behind Proxima Centauri b, it's the second nearest planet that our species has identified as potentially habitable. Number 23. A massive Milky Way gap. Need I tell you what else the satellites uncovered? Two enormous gas clouds in space that appear to be quite near to one another, almost touching. I don't see the point in that. Well, new 3D mapping research shows that these clouds are actually rather far, by the order of hundreds of light years. An enormous optical illusion creates the illusion of a vast chasm between them. With a width of around 500 light years, this void is known as the Perseus Taurus supershell. Supernova explosions, which occurred millions of years ago, are believed to have been its creators. One interesting aspect of this explosion is that it contributed to the formation of new stars in the vicinity of the empty space. It ends happily, but it's more of a sad love story set in space. Moon Hut, number 24. On the other side of the moon, the Chinese U-22 rover discovered what appeared to be an enigmatic dwelling. There was a lot of excitement as many wondered whether it was an alien construction or something more mundane, like a lonely grandma on the moon. But our assumptions were incorrect. A large rock resembling a rabbit was revealed to be its true identity. In honor of a mythical character from Chinese folklore, the rover crew dubbed it Jade Rabbit. The composition of the rock is still being determined. The fact that it can provide light on the moon's geology makes it interesting, even if it isn't an extraterrestrial construction. Number 25. Black Hole Cannon with a Helix Shape The first photograph of a supermassive black hole, a gigantic entity approximately 6.5 billion times denser than the Sun, was taken a few years ago by astronomers. Located in the galaxy known as Messier 87, it is approximately 55 million light-years distant. Scientists were hoping to catch a glimpse of the massive jet of debris erupting from the black hole's core. They discovered something really strange. The stream doesn't appear to be flowing in a straight line at all, but rather resembles a twisted, double helix, almost like a corkscrew. A massive magnetic field emanating from the black hole gives it this form, and it stretches into space for almost 3,300 light-years. The length of this magnetic field in a galactic jet has never been witnessed before, according to scientists. It sheds light on a cosmic phenomenon in a different way. What else could the James Webb Telescope find down the road? Can you predict what the next big finding will be? Leave a comment with your ideas. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up and let us know if you like this video so that we can keep you posted on any new cosmic discoveries. Coming back to you soon.